Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This reading is for Taurus. It may not resonate with all of you, and that is perfectly fine. Don't make it fit. If it does not fit, throw it out to the universe to someone who can use it. Check your sun, your moon, and rising. If anything resonates, give me a, sun, a thumbs up and communicate in the comments below if this resonates with you so I can see where you are on your journey. Plus, it will help other Tauruses to see where other Tauruses are on their journey, right? We are here as a community to help each other, right? Guide me, divinely guide it. <clears throat> to get the messages to the people or a collective for the situation and energy surrounding Taurus. All right, I am starting with the queen of the moon oracle cards just to see where Taurus energy is at this time. Guys, this is going to be dated for May's reading, but I tell you guys, do not worry about uh, the dates on reading. See if that reading catches your eye, if you're guided to that reading. See the title of a reading, because uh, not all dates are the same, because we are all on different journeys, okay? Cross watchers, you are welcome, but this is a Taurus reading, and I will be speaking directly to Taurus and the energies around Taurus, all right? And uh, someone else had this. There's a realization, okay, the waxing crescent moon. The realization, I'm not sure what sign had this. this. may have been Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini or you got Gemini, your sun, moon, or rising, check that reading out. There will be a playlist out for you guys for the month of May. Again, don't worry about the dates. Worry about if this reading resonates with you. Okay, and only you can decide that. Now, realization. This, Taurus, I am feeling that you are realizing that you had the key all along. This is like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. I'm feeling like you've been looking for the answers to something and you have now realized that you had the key all along. You had the answers to what it is you were looking towards for the answer. Was it a commitment? Um, was it a new job? Was it, was it in the direction you wanted to go in? But you've been, I'm just seeing that there's a Taurus been looking for answers. And with this card coming out first, Taurus, and it's your overall for your reading, you having a realization that whatever it is, whether it's a commitment, an idea, or a circumstance that you now have the key to, or you're searching for a key to that, but you're having a realization that whatever it is you don't understand at this time, it is coming in for you. You will understand soon what it is that you're searching looking reaching or wanting to respond to okay so that's very good whatever it is the confusion whatever it is it's coming in you're going to get the clarity that you need oh my god you definitely could be dealing with a gemini um because they have both of these cards in different areas because uh, i think gemini had blossoming in the overall of their reading and you're getting it in you're getting it in the future this is the future so i guess once you realize have this realization of what it is that you need to do how you need to move in that direction you're going to blossom in it you see that this is called blossom. So you're going to grow. This is abundance. You could be, it could be a financial endeavor that you want to move towards, or you've been having some thoughts about maybe starting a new business, a new job, maybe even doing some material. It's in your material world. Okay. But whatever that decision is, Taurus, you're going to blossom from that. 
you're going to have a a winning outcome. This is a lot of green in there. This is someone that is just playing the music to their own beat. So whatever realization you get, this is going to help you really grow within yourself. Whether this is you committing to a relationship or someone that's around you that you are abundant within your own, right? But someone that's Touch the heart and the soul of you, Taurus. Or there's a realization that this person that you're dealing with really brings harmony into your life. This person makes you, if it's, because, you know, abundance could definitely be financial, but abundance is love within yourself, commitment, understanding, happiness, completion but this is working from the inside this is the way you feel in regards to yourself so you could be at this time you could have met someone new and they just make you feel really warm and fuzzy inside that's what i that's what i got warm and fuzzy inside maybe it's been some times where you wasn't clear about the direction you want to go in in a relationship if you wanted to be in a relationship or you didn't or there's been some hurt and pain in the past with other relationships that didn't work out right so you might have had some spilt cups some really emotional times in the past and uh now you're coming into a relationship or someone coming into your life that really like sings the song to your heart I think you've worked on yourself, Taurus, and you're very much abundant at this time. And if it's not financially, it's coming in because there's a lot of green in this card. Just as I told Gemini, you're either sitting in this abundance now and you're looking for that soulmate. I feel that in the past you've been connected to a twin flame and maybe you walked away from it. Could have been a long-term commitment, a marriage, but it didn't fulfill you. And now, you know, you just working on commitment within yourself. Commitment of what you allow and what you will not allow. Commitment into what you want to work on and what you will not work on. But whatever this is, you're having that realization that you have the key. You have the answers to the questions that you're asking the universe. And you have it because you've worked on yourself. And right now, feel discernment, right? So you see this discernment? This is You knowing that you've worked on yourself and you know how you feel within yourself. You understand now about commitments, equal give and take and balance and relationships and life, period. You want harmony in your life, right? Because this person is playing the music to their own beat, their own drum. What fulfills them, what makes them feel good. It's not selfish. What it is, is you finding the light within yourself. Y'all don't worry about my nails. I didn't get them did. That's fine. That's worry about the message, okay? Because I know somebody out there like, you know, that's not what this is about, all right? Okay. <laughs> this is about me getting this message to you. So your inner light, if you look at that, you have the inner light is here. It's the heart chakra. It could, it's wide open. It's clear. It's got sun. That's why I say someone around you. Or someone you're coming in communication with really soon is, is really working on that inner heart, that light, that sun, the happiness. That's like the sun card right in the middle. This could have definitely been you, Taurus. Finally feeling happy within your own soul, within your own light. And it could have been at the top you, it's cloudy, right? So cloudy is like confusion. So that may be the realization that's coming in with this cloudiness. 
up top, like maybe you had rainy days or maybe you've been confused or you was wearing rose colored glasses because you wasn't seeing um, the truth in the situation and now you're getting the truth. And with this truth, you, you're doing acceptance. Like the realization that I can, ex I, I, what I can't do is change other people. But what I can do is change myself. Work on cleansing and cleansing out all of the toxic behaviors or the unknown answers. I'm also feeling like this is a Taurus that in your heart, You feel content and happy. But there may be something surrounding you. Community, friends, family, old relationship. Even, even, even some thought patterns of how you've seen yourself in the past. And it could be sometime affecting you now. It could be affecting you we're moving forward with, with this realization that you actually do have. You may feel that it's an illusion how happy you really are or how you've grown or how far you've come on your journey. I'm feeling that towards you had a lot of fogginess going on. You know, it's like the clouds were, you felt like the clouds was just following you, like, right? That you had no clarity. You couldn't understand. You couldn't see. You didn't know whether to feel for the situation or not feel for the situation. To give to the situation or not give to the situation. But now I'm feeling from the inside out, you're healing, feeling good about yourself, and you're still working with a struggle. That's why you're still looking for the real, you know, that realization of, now what do I do? Now what direction I go? So you, you may be looking for answers of how to move forward after this relationship that did not fulfill you. Or seeing the truth or accepting that you can't change people. You can only change yourself. Right? We know how hard it is for us to change ourselves, change our eating habits, change our toxic behavior. And I think you had a cloudy judgment feeling that feel that you was connected with someone you was trying to change and you lost that inner light that inner love for yourself because you were so committed to working on this relationship that you lost yourself but this card is showing me that you're now finding yourself even though things still seem a little cloudy and unsure but this is energy from the past. This sits in the past. This is energy that you're getting over with. Because that realization is your main card, your main guidance, your main energy at this time. And that's having the key to move forward from deceptive behaviors in the past. Whether it was yours or just people around you. Or a very hard, toxic lesson learned in a relationship. This is another set of Taurus. I'm feeling someone's trying to confuse you about this light that you have now realization that you have the key to your success and happiness. And someone's coming back around because they see you in your abundance, taking care of yourself, dancing to your own beat, and they're trying to confuse you. But that won't happen. Because you have the key to what it is that truck totally fulfills you, Taurus. Darkness. <clears throat> Darkness. This is what you're afraid of. Mm-hmm. And under the deck, you have hunger. 
Howling at the moon, <laughs> right? Looking for that change, wanting that change. Maybe sleepless nights, right? Sometimes you just, you stay up at night because you're worried about this change. You're worried about the realization or you're worried about the darkness creeping back in, right? Or worrying if you're on the right path, on the right path, I'm sorry. Yeah, long night moon and hunger together. You see that? That's the darkness and then the moon. So, Taurus, I'm feeling like, man, your struggle is mostly at night. Like, during the day, I see you getting through the emotions. Maybe getting up, going to work, doing your everyday routine. But you want something different. You want something more. And you're struggling within yourself to realize what it is that you truly want. Though you got harmony during the day within yourself, it's the nighttime that gets to you, right? Howling at the moon, wanting something, wanting recognition, wanting someone maybe even to love you. Maybe someone to share your life with. Maybe that soulmate, right? You putting out into the universe that you truly want a soulmate that is compatible to you. This is a Taurus that does things differently. This is a Taurus that probably not looking for the regular committal relationship that others crave for. You want something different and strange, unusual. I don't know what Taurus is I'm connecting with, but everybody ain't the same, y'all. So, hey, what you want and what you manifest, that's on you. Everybody has free will. Maybe you don't want the same in and out, drawn out, day in and out relationship. Maybe you want something totally different, special. Maybe you want a soulmate that gets you. Maybe there's like some inside of you passion, um, some wildness to you. And you're looking for someone that can match you on that level. I mean, I just got this, Taurus. Someone that turns in the night with you. <laughs> I don't know what you're turning into, Taurus, but Taurus is looking for some night love. Okay? I'm not going to say that, Spirit. I'll just say some, not all, but there's some Tauruses into some stuff and they need someone to be on their level with it. And it's not deception or anything. It is finding out what makes you happy, that inner you. And it may not be like a regular committed marriage relationship. And I'm not going to go into what it could be. You know that, Taurus, if this is resonating with you. But you're a hunger and longing for something to come in that can match your energy on whatever extent that energy is on. <laughs> and it looks like it's on a very high level of energy. <laughs> That's what I got, of energy. That's, that is, yeah, the realization that you truly do want someone that gets you and hungers for the way you want to show up in a connection. That will respect you for the way you want to show up in a connection. Someone you can respect on the way they showing up in the connection. This is going to be a wild situation. I'm seeing, you know, like, neighbors knocking on the door. Like, what is y'all doing over there? <laughs> you know? Like, you got to make sure ain't nobody home but y'all. I'm just saying. Let me move on out, out of that energy. Towards, uh, okay. Everybody got their own wishes and goals. Not everybody talking about abundance, stability. Somebody looking for some 
special, special activities. And you're welcome to that, right? Because that's no mean that it's toxic. What it means is, hey, you're trying to fulfill your inner you and you have a right to do that. You have a right to do that, Taurus. But the Spirit is saying, Taurus, patience. <laughs> patience. Finding you that mate is <laughs> almost here, though, right? Because you're you manifesting it. You're working on it. You worked on you. You realize what it is you truly want. And I don't know if you howling at the moon at night or not, but I'm assuming you are because you see that moon coming in. <laughs> that wish fulfillment is coming in. You howling and here it comes, right? And you standing there with the balloon with open arms waiting on whatever towards this adventure is. <laughs> and look, you see this? This the moon. This, I mean, not the moon. I mean, you have the moon here, but this is space, outer space. You know, this is dimensions, right? Different dimensions or world turns. You're looking for something, and it's out of this world. But you know what's so crazy about it, Taurus? You're about to get it. <laughs> so however you've been asking the universe for this relationship to take forth or situation, I don't know, maybe you're an astronaut. Maybe you, you know, work for NASA or something. I don't know. But you want something out of this world. You want ground breaking out of this world. Like space cadet situation going on. Like losing yourself with no gravity within someone. And I think you've been waiting for a while for this. You almost thought the universe gave up on you. But they didn't. There was just some things that you had to do, Taurus, to get ready. Because, I mean, if you want this outer world experience, it was some things you had to get ready on your journey for, right? The realization, right? Find that key within you, open it up. So now, you know, you didn't found that realization, what it is you really want in a relationship, a situationship. I don't know if it's relationship or situationship. <laughs> but whatever it is, Taurus, it is for you. It is what you want. Or at least this is what you're manifesting. And you have now realized that it's coming in. You see a little glimpse of something. Someone may even be around you. You got your eye on them, Taurus, and you like, is this it? <laughs> Is they the one? Is this the one for me? And you're standing there because you are willing and welcoming in this energy. Willingly welcome this person into your life. You see something different or strange about them that seems to draw you in. Now, I'm also seeing, got some other good cards here too, Taurus. I'm trying to get this, uh, this 23 minutes in, y'all. It is so much coming in. Let me get through this reading, okay? Because I know you guys like short readings. And if readings is too long, definitely comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking this reading and you want me to just get the message out because it's resonating. I, you know, I'm, 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 <laughs> well, I'm just a messenger. And sometimes my messages don't come out clear enough for you to really get it until I get into the reading. But as you know, I'm growing my channel and I'm connecting to my spirit guides as much as possible to give you the, as much guidance as I possibly can. And sometimes it just takes a while. All right. Anyways. When I look at both of these cards here, you see this coming through? And this is what you got inside of you. So that's you waiting for your completion, for that soulmate to come in and for the universe to deliver it to you. And those two cards match. So, yes. And I'm moving on. I'm moving on, Taurus. But I need you to know that you got pleasure. So whatever this is, hmm. <laughs> 
what you feel inside of you and you want, it is going to be pleasurable for you. This will be out of the universe for you and this person. You guys are going to connect in the electricity on the moon or wherever y'all at. Y'all are, the, the moon was yellow. Your hunger was yellow. And that turns white. This is clarity in this energy. Y'all going to clear up all of that misunderstanding. And know that you guys are meant to be together. And that there is something that you need to come together. And that you both are meant to be together. That both of you have something special within yourself. Whether people understand your relationship or not. There is something magnetic about this situationship. And I don't say situationship because it doesn't seem like it's... To other people it may not be natural. But who cares what other people think? It's about you and this situation shit. But it's going to be magnetic. And if that's the realization that you're realizing that this person completes you and make you happy, no matter how strange it is or what strange things you're into, they get you and they understand that. And maybe around you the situation, people don't understand it or get it. Don't care about that, Taurus. Care about what completes you and a person that either coming into your life, depending on where you are on this journey, that you've manifest that's coming in and completing you, or the person you've already found and you feel that you two together is magnet, like electricity, bond. Um, when you, I, there's a towards when you embrace, see this person, they touch you, they look at you. Or just the idea of you knowing they're going to call you soon. Or they text you. Just changes your whole day. Knowing you're going to, to me, this is like a night time gathering. But maybe you guys meet at night quite often. Maybe someone works during the day. and um, Or they get off really late. And this is what you guys, this is how you guys basically spend most of your time at night because the other person's schedule is off with working or other things that has to be taken care of. Um, and I'm just feeling that this is like a nighttime relationship. I could be wrong. It may not resonate with all of you. Okay. Um, the last card before I give you guys the guidance on your journey is the path. You're on the right path. You are, you are on the right path towards this person or this person towards you. This is definitely for you. This is what you manifest. I'm saying this too is, right? Maybe it's not all the way clear. Maybe the moon, right? It's a half a yellow moon, right? So maybe it's not all the way clear or it hasn't all the way come in for you yet. But this says the path. So you're on the right path. You're going, you know, keep believing in yourself and you still... <laughs> Taurus, you waiting on this person. Look, I didn't even see that. Can you see this person down here just looking at the letter up to that moon within that circle, that dimension, that special bond you have with someone that can't be denied? And you are sitting there. Maybe this you at home at night just waiting for him to come down the stairs. Maybe some special stuff you guys do. I don't know. I don't want to get into all that. But... There's something special about this relationship and you do not mind waiting or they do not mind waiting on you. It's neutral. Because in order for you to be waiting on that ladder and waiting for something to come down, something has to be coming over, right? So it's coming your way. Be patient, Taurus. And yes, I'm feeling this relationship is so different. I'm also feeling this may be a situation where you've just been going back and forth in your head. Like, is this healthy? Is this a healthy relationship? You know, maybe some of the things that you do or whatever, you're like, is it healthy? Well, guess what? It has your heart chakra open. You're happy within yourself. You're stable. And it makes you feel good. So you go with the flow, Taurus. And I'm not, and I just got that someone may be in a committed relationship. And yeah, maybe some Taurus in a committed relationship. And you're talking and you want to leave it. Because it does not have this fulfillment. And someone has caught your eye. 
That's just for some, may not be for all. Someone's caught your eye and you're feeling this way about them, like they complete you, like they get you, like it's a magnetic, you know, like the universe sent you to this person. And maybe the realization is you realizing that there's a relationship that you have to walk away from before the full moon shows up for you. That could be it too, okay? All right, let's keep going, guys, right? Um, let me get a soul's journey. Guys, I'm sorry if the reading goes too long. Again, comment below if the reading's too long and you want me to try to, but I can't. So maybe just, just not the station for you, right? Maybe I'm just not the reader for you. You need the quick five, six, seven. Some people need more guidance and help in situations. And if I'm guided to do it, I'm not going to stop worrying about what time this reading releases or how much. Fear. You got fear, soul's burning fear. <clears throat> and that's back to that realization. I think you, so this fear card says, I realize that I am testing my resolves to live in the energy of love. All right, exactly, Taurus. There is something else that you want when it comes to love and commitment or someone to share. You want, I'm just saying, there's a hunger for something that fulfills your inner soul. And your fear is leaving someone behind possible. Or your fear is that you will never find that person that really truly gets you and see you for who you are. Or they will not match your energies. But the universe is saying this person is either here or they're coming in. And yeah, the fear is leaving something behind. Something you already know. You may know it, but the most thing you know about is Taurus is never did complete you. You never found that fulfillment in that relationship in the past that completed you. Maybe they were, you know, I'll tell you. It depends on what it is you want in a relationship. Not all relationships, as I just say, are simply, you know, man and wife, right? That may not be your, your take. Or, uh, you know, maybe you're so passionate and, and, and want to do things so differently that you need something more in your relationship when it comes to passionate love making, something like that. Your fear is that you have to leave someone behind and you may hurt their feelings. But I feel like Taurus, you've been hurt for quite some time if you've been living with this with this emptiness or unfulfilled, unfulfilled in a way you want it to be fulfilled. Well, you have a realization now that either this commitment is coming into you and you may have the realization that you have the key now to walk away or the strength to walk away from a relationship that no longer feels you to go and forward and find someone who is very magnetic towards you that understands the strangeness of you. That understands the inner you. That doesn't leave you clouded. Or make you feel that you can't express yourself. Because they'll look at you differently. That is that is the message that I'm getting guys. Let me. Okay let's see. If you're dealing with a fire sign. An air sign. Earth or water. Let's just get some guidance. From the spirit guys. Fire sign. Taurus, if you're dealing with a fire sign, what is the energies regarding Taurus and his fire sign at this time, spirit guides? Give me the energy. Ooh, okay. A three. Really, spirit? I, okay. Spirit says, stop talking about timing. It's an illusion. Very, thank you, spirit. <laughs> this will go on long as it needs to then. I just got my clarity. Okay, a fire sign. Hmm. This fire sign wants to offer a cup of love. The wheel is turning in your favor. Your ships have come in. If you are dealing with a fire sign, it could definitely be a water sign. It could be you offering, realizing that the wheel will turn when you offer this cup. Because that, that is truly what you've been standing there waiting for. And you want the wheel to turn in your favor. If you want it to turn in your favor, Taurus... <clears throat> That's right. Leave the past behind. Offer this cup. If this person 
you know, and they may be strange or they may, whatever the situation is. I, I don't know why they keep coming up strange. So I guess it's just an unconventional, is that how you say it? Unconventional? Anyway, guys, something that's not normal or the way people don't see it when they look at relationships and and harmony and family and homes or whatever. It's just totally different. That's that's it. It's right. Unconvention conventional love situation. The wheel will start to turn. This this was your wish fulfillment. So offer the cup or accept the cup. Because the wheel will turn and that was you waiting on that to come in with this fire sign. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, male or female, it doesn't matter. Universe is saying that energy it is what you were waiting on. If it is an air sign, whoa. I believe, Taurus, this, you have the, the queen of swords in reverse. If this is an air sign, because this is air, this is air here also, a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have been dealing with um, maybe a Libra. I think, Taurus, if you were dealing with an air sign, doesn't matter. Or whoever this person is, the, the queen of swords in reverse is not accepting the truth from anyone. Or anything around them. Like not looking for the truth for the answers. And I feel that you hold yourself back some, quite some time with this air sign. And not expressing what it is that you really want. So you was holding yourself back. And this may be what you're leaving behind. Which is an air sign. Because you didn't feel you can really be yourself. Or express to them how you actually felt. Maybe they wasn't open to you howling at the moon. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. Okay, moving on. Earth sign. You have the sun card. If you have a Capricorn, Virgus, or, or a Taurus like yourself, y'all are equal. Y'all having this happiness. And whatever y'all decide to do in the light or the dark, you're going to be happy. That's your soulmate. You're working towards that happiness. They want to work towards you. Whatever strange things you got going on with you, they got the same strange things going on with them. And y'all like just two kids run, just running wild, doing whatever it is you need to do on that moon. You see, y'all didn't turn the sun, the moon into the sun. That's straight happiness. I'm just saying, you just can't make this stuff up. If you are dealing with a water sign, Taurus, Taurus, good luck with you and that earth sign. Go for it. Or that could just be you releasing yourself and happiness and bliss because you've left the past and you see that there's a new soulmate coming in that completes you and make you completely happy. And you ain't playing no games. You walking away and running free. <laughs> you know, these kids don't look like they got clothes on. Maybe you and this new soulmate going to be secluded somewhere and uh, y'all gonna be in your birthday suits <laughs> um if you're dealing with a water sign you have the five of wands and you have the knight of wands these are non-committal energies conflicted they may have been you know or you if it's a water sign you could be conflicted within yourself in regards to uh, this water sign, because, you know, the Knight of Wands, they're not very committal. They come in and out. And maybe you're afraid that perhaps, you know, this person that's coming in towards you, being conflicted within yourself, that maybe they're not what you think they are because you've dealt with what you've dealt with in the past. But I think this is just your fears. I think this is your inner fear. If you're dealing with a water sign and you're not sure if this is the person, but it makes you feel like all this, like you guys are soulmate and you got a lot going on or you're looking at them, you realize it, you've left something in the past. I think this is you just being conflicted and afraid that it won't work out. That they're going to have that, you know, in and out or won't, you know, non-committal energy. I think this is you being afraid or... You know, 
you conflicted about getting fired up and moving forward towards this relationship that you truly, really want. But I just think this is inside of you. If this is a water sign, you conflicted about showing up and letting them know, hey, I see you. I want to be with you. I think we have a lot in common. I've been watching you for a while or we've been together for a while. And I think we need to release the beast within ourselves, right? Get fired up and do what we feel. And don't let nothing hold us back from being together. And doing what it is that our hearts desire. I'm very passionate about it. And whatever it is, it's going to make you happy. Guys, give me a thumbs up on your way out. Make a comment. Let me know if you're dealing with any of these signs so I can have an idea of where you're at. Taurus on your journey and it will help others on their journey also, Taurus. So, subscribe, comment. Love and light, Taurus. I'll see you on your next reading.